Hi, I'm Bron, welcome to another energy break. Beautiful day out here because it's summertime, just about moments away. So let's get some summer arms happening. So you can put on those singlets and t-shirts with little sleeves, get out there and not be worried about saggy baggy arms. This is a three kilo ball, it's not very heavy, but that's okay, it's good still. So you don't have to have lots of weights or fancy things. You could be doing this with a big can of something. All we want to do is tone up the arms. We don't want to make huge, big muscles. And at the same time, you're getting that energy back into yourself. You'll feel a bit more uh, revitalized after this. A few more, pushing up, pushing up and bring it down. Okay, so to tone up the arms. It's little tiny weights. These are one kilo. They're very small, but they don't need to be big because we're going to do lots and lots and lots of repetitions so that we tighten and tone the muscles. It's not about getting them big and bulky. It's about shape, a little bit of definition, stamina, a little bit of strength. So keep the tummy nice and tight. My feet are a good width apart so that I'm well balanced. A little bend in the knees, nice and soft. Squeezing in from the tummy button down. So that tummy's nice and tight. So I'm tight through the front, tall through the back. That's what you've got to think of every single time. Set yourself up. We're going to bring it to the front. These are only one kilo, but already my arms are starting to get tired because I'm doing lots and lots of repetitions. So keep it going. Now don't let those tummy muscles go. As your arms get tired, tummy starts to go. You've got to remind yourself, squeeze in, tummy button down. Last couple, bring it down and give your arms a swing. That's it, okay, we're up again. We're going this way. So there's nothing complicated. It's about changing the direction of things just a little bit to work the muscles a little bit differently. You wanna capture all the different areas. Keep that tummy nice and tight. Remember, you don't wanna let it go. You wanna keep squeezing in. Now from here, we're going to push across and in. Make sure your knees are bent so that there's no strain on them. Keep them soft. Push across and in. Push across and in. Remind yourself to let your shoulders drop down and relax. If they start to creep up and you get tense, you're losing where the focus is going. Push across. Push across. Push across. That's it, a little bit more. Beautiful sunny day out here today. Great for exercising in, even if it is only for five minutes. Bring it down and swing. Okay, a little side lift. So we don't want them high, we just want them low. A little lift. Get some shape into those shoulders. Squeezing. So even if you don't have weights, it doesn't matter. A couple of little cans of something. Don't grip whatever you're using too tightly though. You don't want to be gripping through your hands. You want your hands to be fairly relaxed so that your muscles get the workout. You don't lose it through gripping with those hands. Keep the tummy nice and tight. Don't let it go. That's it, a couple more. And bring it down, give them a swing so they can relax again. We're nearly there. It doesn't take much, it's just a little bit every day. That's all you need to do. So, triceps. Again, nice soft knees. Pull back like you've got chicken wings, but keep your shoulders down. Your arms go back from the elbow, in from the elbow. Back from the elbow. There's no movement in the shoulders. 
It's not this. It's holding it back and just taking it from the elbow. Don't go too fast. It's not a race to get there. It's all going to take time. You just have to be patient. Just push back from the elbow. Tight through the front, tall through the back, all still applies. Pushing back. Keep it tight through the tummy muscles. It's all good. A little bit more, last couple. Arms getting tired, they should be. And bring it down, give a bit of a swing. Couple more and then we're done. Bring it in so the ends are together. Now with these ones, if you've got heavier weights and you want to go up to heavier weights, you can. I'll just stay with these little light ones for now. If you want to grab a heavier set, do a few with a heavier set. That's fine. And while we've got the arms in front here, we're going to do some hammer curls. And they go around and down. Around and down. Go right across to the other side of your body. Don't drop out past your shoulder. Keep it in. Around to the inside of your shoulder and down. We're nearly there. You can always do it a bit heavier with a hammer curl. Great for the forearm as well as for the bicep. Let's see it, we're nearly done. Last few. Bring it down to your side and do little hammer curls this way. And if you've gone to weights that are a little bit heavier, you'll really be feeling it now, but that's okay because we're nearly done. So remember the first energy break we did where we used our rubber bands, our Dyna bands? If you go back and have a look at that, you will find more things that you can do to whip those arms into shape. Rubber bands, light weights, lots of repetitions, and before you know it, your arms are ready for those summer dresses and summer singlets and summer stuff. That's it. Well done. Have a good day. See you next time.